Hi and welcome to Angling View. Today you join me at, in my garden again, um, in the midst of a, a little bit of, um, let's say, uh, an Alan Titch Marsh moment. I've been uh, digging and changing and as you can see from where I'm filming now, in my wonderful new decked area, um, this is going to be where I can do a lot of my lockdown videos from. It's got the pen fences to paint today, so that's uh, be all sorted. So you join me today. Um, actually early in the morning as you can probably hear from the background with the birds singing away we're only just after 7am so I didn't get a chance to uh, film this video yesterday for today's lock up so I've um, got up early there's a bit of dedication and uh, get this filmed and then we can probably be on the same time scale as what we've been before so what am I talking about today um, now I've got progen tackle pole floats coming the, the, the post is crazy so it, there may be tomorrow's video it may be wednesday's even thursday's video as soon as they're up we'll do the shotting patterns the and, and and what the floor and everything into detail and that'll be a really good video as soon as they arrive um so what i'm going to talk today is about pole rollers now the thing about pole rollers is a lot of people just discount the use of them and there's various different types i've got two different types in front of me but they're not too different in regards to i used to have v rollers so that's where I'll start before I un unbox these two. Um, v rollers. Now, V rollers I've used in the past, uh, and the V rollers are obviously, as as the name suggests, they they come in a V. Now, some are less stable than others. Uh, I had a Preston ones is what I had. Um, I had the V, the, the green V, uh, super V ones, which are the big ones, uh, and the blue ones, which are the size down from that, um, and. They were both on tripods, all adjustable as, as you'd expect from Preston. And they were good, but if you got a bit of wind or you knocked against, you would find, especially if they were higher up, if they were lower, not so much, but if they were higher up, that they would fall over. Uh, they, they don't seem to be as stable. Um, although they were good for narrow, snaggy pegs where you had a hill or something to ship back to, uh, they were very good for that. So I suppose it's it's what you you want from the roller. I, personally, the rollers that I'm going to show <coughs> show you today certainly the Maver one, um, are, are miles better, and and I would recommend that's the way you go. Now, obviously, there's a lot of rollers for a lot of different price ranges, and it's like anything in fishing: the more you spend, the more high quality the roller you get. Now, I haven't got the the best rollers in the world. I, I'm not going to say that. Uh, I do need to to get another one of of, of a Maver style roller, which I'll go into when we open the bags, um, and. It, it, it's just how you again how your budget goes but if you can spend at least 25 quid on a roller then it's it's better um if you're gonna fish sort of a margin or short pole up to around eight meters you probably get away with one as long as you've got something to rest it on the, t the end on <coughs> on your box like a pole sock anything above that you want two rollers um and sometimes with 16 meters if you're doing a straight 16 meter ship back you'll need three um but again, that's that's all subject to to how much you want to pay and how much you want to go into it. A buy and sell sites are, re are really good for rollers. There's usually quite a lot on there, um, and you know you can usually get a quite a good deal. Um, most good rollers are around the 60, 70, 80 quid mark. Um, I got this one on a good deal, which we'll go into. Um, but I mean, your top stuff. Um, you, you can be going up like the re the reeve double reeve big ones like 150 200 quid so it depends again how serious you are so enough waffling <clears throat> we're going to go on to the two types that i have and a little explanation about the ones that i don't have but look, that look similar so i'm going to start with this one is a leader gt um, and again this this one were around 30 pound and I, I'll, I'll explain what I used to have when I get this one out. Um, but this one I usually have quite close to the tip of my pole, and I'll show you why. Okay, so this one, um, as you'll see straight away before I, set, I stand it fully up, it has three sort of roller bars. Don't know if it's going to stand on the table, but we'll give it a go. Just about. So as you can see, there's three rollers. So all these three roll 
and these two roll. Now, why is this important? It's important for when you're breaking down your pole. Now, when you saw my setup video, I had two pole socks, and this is exactly why. I can run two sections, so I can ship back my first set, split it, and then ship back my second set. Now, why this is good and why this is is better than than having it now before the pole rollers i used to have back in the day just imagine this center piece wasn't here and it was just one now if it's windy or if you're on an angle or whatever the, the sections will meet and they'll hit against each other and obviously it's not good hitting your ends or sliding side by side of them rubbing together so that's the main reason why I moved to the double sided ones. Um, yes, they're a bit more expensive than the single unit ones without the middle bit. Um, with some of the units you can buy out there, I think the map ones, you can actually take the middle, uh, and the frenzy ones, you can actually take the middle out. Um, and I just find that this is the best way for me. They've got the adjustable legs on. It doesn't go as high as my Maver, which I'll show you in a minute. That's why I, I'm gonna get another Maver. I'll probably keep on to this, or I might give it to you know my friend, Glyn, um, or I may even put it out as a prize. Um, I don't know. But when I do get my other Maver, uh, we'll, we'll look at maybe giving this one away. Um, it's a really good quality one, to be fair, for 30 quid. It does everything you need, but I always have it at the front because it's the shorter of the two, as you'll see when I get the Maver out. I always feel that the narrower sections are going to be in this one more, more than more than likely, and it's just a nice one to have near the box. I tend to be lower uh, near the box than when, I, when, I'm for, when, when the pole's further away. It sometimes can dip away and you need it higher. It, it, it goes as high as my box does, um, and it's perfect uh, for what I need. But on some pegs, it is a bit short, so that's where the option of having when I got the Maver that's it's an option so obviously with with this one it's just the old classic screw lock legs so I'll, what I'll do is I'll just extend those and we can have a little look about sort of what height and then we can give you a, we can give you some sort of um, comparison with with the Maver And really easy system, just twist, unlock, pull, and then twist back on. Really simple system. So, if I slide this out of the way, you can see there that it is quite a, a stable system. Uh, you know, it's it's quite quite strong, and you know the leg the just tighten that one up. And the legs hold it really well. Obviously, I've got a little bit of an uneven bottom on here, but um, it does to come to a fair height. So, what I'd say, mm, a foot, just a foot and a half to this bottom roller. Um, so it is, it is reasonable, and it's definitely the sort of piece of kit that you want to look at if you're starting, um, if you're starting up. Because uh, I mean, thirty quid. That that's pretty much around the standard price. That it, between thirty and forty, you're getting an half decent starting roller. But that's what I'm saying. If you look around on eBay and things like that, or or Facebook mess, uh, Facebook Marketplace, you you, you find um, sort of decent size um, decent size Preston ones and various other brands on there, and and you'll get an half decent price for them. So. It better to start off with a second hand good one than spend sort of 20 30 quid on one that's average that, that's that's my thought process anyway but like everything you're gonna check it anyway so so we'll start off with it next on with the um maver and you'll all be saying now oh it don't match your box and it don't match yourself i know it i know it doesn't and it, do, it does pain me a little bit but the reason i got this maver one was that it were reduced to about 50 quid. Um, I think the norm, normally, originally, when they came out, were about 70, 80 quid. Um, but the, um, they're probably around the 50 quid mark now. So as you can see, it comes in a nice little bag. This one, there's retaining straps in here as well, if you want it. The other one's just like a little sleeve. I'll drop it on there first before we, we, um, we take the legs off. So as you can see, it's got the, th the three but it's actually a slightly wider unit and um, very minimally slightly wider and um, probably hmm, that's it in fact we'll grab the leader it don't look as wider as i thought it did actually but it is slightly wider 
so we're looking at about two or three inches wider so not not drastically and um, the ro the rollers itself are slightly thicker and the middle rollers have got and the, and the ends have got slightly tapered um, finish so sort of, it guides your pole in um, as you can see the bearings that are in these are a lot better this is what I mean when you start to get up to more money this is where you start to get obviously the little bit more in price in regards to um, quality of bearings quality of the foam all that kind of stuff goes up in price when you when you go in price and there's no way by means is the Maver the best um, the map ones are pretty tremendous and um, there's some really good Reeve ones um, the, the, all different brands and um, the Daiwa ones are pretty good the Preston high-end ones are pretty good um, but this one for what I need is a really good quality one so this one is a little bit different and they are a little bit fiddly so you got to make sure you got your legs out correctly so this one here is a little button there's a lockout button which is really good um, and that just allows you to know that it's not going to collapse on itself so I'll just move this table out of the way again. Oh, I'll just put him to the side. So move this table out already. You can see that this one is much bigger, um, which means this one needs to be near, near enough full capacity to be the same level. So that's important to think about when you're using two. Um, I'd obviously got the leader before I got this one. So if I if I'd have thought when I was there, and I nearly did, uh, of just getting two of these, and um, but because I'd had the leader for a certain amount of time, I didn't I didn't really think about it. So as you can see, in its main size, it's pretty tall, um, and I'm going to show you the two stages now because th this has got two stages here where you can extend. So it's got these lovely little fold-out clips, and it does go massive. It's probably going to with me sat down to be honest, going to be bigger than my head. Um, so it's got the it's got two sets of clips like a lot of these sort of better rollers do have and this one's playing silly we've got a bit of mud on this one so it's not letting me have it right, let's have a little there we go that's interesting So, as you can see, it's pretty damn big. As you can see, it's nearly over my head, in fact. Um, and that's just on the first one. And it goes another further in height. So I don't even know if you're going to be able to see me, see it here, if I'm honest. Um, but, as you can tell by my head, has been set down that's how high it goes if you need it so if you're fishing sort of a venue where you need to get up a bank or you know you've got it's usually where you're going to be sat lower to the water and when you're low to the water you need to ship up the bank or you, you, you've got an obstruction or a bush or whatever and this one's got you and it's gonna uh, it's gonna definitely sort you out for for legs and this is what i mean but having two of these is really gonna be an essential sort of scenario for me um because like like i say i don't fish any venues realistically a lot of natural venues that would be good for and it'd be good for um sort of natural venues if you're going to be in the water as well if you a lot of uh, the people who watch that are in europe that fish a lot of venues where you're in the water or you've got or you can you may be fishing river pegs and things like that that extending uh, part of it will be really really good for that um and give you a lot of option now you, once you got, you're gonna look for 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 rollers. Like I say, um, it really, it, it's, it's simple. It's like it's like anything. If you if you look at a pole and you don't really know the brand or you don't really know much about it, then 
to nine times out of ten it's going to ref if it's not and it's quite cheap it's going to reflect on the quality of it if you're looking anywhere sort of your big name brands the quality is going to be there and that and that's really as simple as it is um they've just got the means to make things for a, a wider cheaper um sort of a cost which makes them being able to do more expensive products but uh, not as much more expensive uh, cheaper price um so they tend to be a lot better quality and that's really as easy as it is uh, you know it is if you go on uh, messen um, messenger keep saying messenger if you keep going marketplace on the facebook groups or you go sort of on the ebay you've got a great chance of just getting a really good deal um of something second hand as long as it's in good condition you have a look through it and you know it's it is how it says it is and there's no chunks missing out of it and stuff like that then uh, you, you know it's your quids in really and it just makes for a better quality stuff and they also the things we like the mavers and and the prestons and all that the the frames are a little bit heavier which is really good for for wind you, you just allows you not to block to blow it over and these ones are great because they don't catch the wind as much and also they've got a wide base so it'll gives a lot of structure um and, and less likely to to get knocked over but for me i would go in conclusion down the double route um it's just it's so much better so much safer for your pole shipping two sides down um and if you're fishing a short pole you can even have your landing net handle on there and you know your pole on the other one if you really wanted to it you know it, it's multi-use but um yeah that's just a little quick one on that I, as soon as those pole floats will come um then i'll get those out if you've not seen the matt's piking video um just give it a go even if you're not into piking it's just a good watch um so give that a, a, a go join us on the facebook group as always so i had lots of new members on there which is really nice to see uh, join us on the instagram share those photos and, and things with us and uh, we will just try and keep these lockdown video coming as uh, as much as we can and uh, thank you very much like and subscribe see you on the next one guys tight lines Thank you.